Hello and welcome to the first Grokit and Haynes video blog. So the reason we're doing these video blogs is that we've started to record our second album and we thought we'd give you a bit more of an insight into how we uh, how we put it together and, and what we do basically. Get the final uh, the final product I suppose. You saw a little bit of that in the documentary that we did. Uh, obviously we showed a little bit of the, re the recording side of things and it, it's just going to expand on that really and be uh, hopefully enjoyable to watch. Hopefully. 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 I don't know about Rob does it though really without getting like tired and really like knackered. I don't know. He just seems to carry on. So yeah, that was the idea of what we wanted to do. Um, this first one's going to be a little bit different. Uh, that's very brilliant. A little, little bit, bit different. It's a little bit frank. Um, but it's going to be a little bit different, basically, so we can uh, uh, get you up to speed with what we've been doing over the last few months. A few people that have been on the website and on the Facebook and stuff are probably going to know a little bit about it. But for those of you who haven't been bothered, uh, we're just going to show you a couple of little things that we've been up to. Um, one being, obviously, the Inspector Drake film that we've been involved in. <laughs> so we got approached by um, a director called David Tristram, who, um, it's actually his character, isn't it? He's this, this yeah, character yeah. Inspector Drake yeah. from... Um, uh, loads of plays and have performed all around the world and he's basically decided to do a uh, a feature length film and asked us to be involved in uh, some of the music basically. Well that's how it started because he wanted us to basically record, he'd got a song that was going to be the main soundtrack song and he wanted us to record that um, and then he wanted to use some of our other songs as well and it just got more and more and then we ended up actually filming um, two scenes. Two scenes actually yeah which was, which was cool, one of which actually with Inspector Drake um, which is quite nice. Right, just back from uh, filming our scenes in Inspector Drake, hence the uh, the old waistcoat attire, which I'm actually getting quite used to. You, Dan's just gone and got changed, so now I just feel like I've really dressed up for no occasion. As you see, honey. Thank you very much, darling. <laughs> so, how was it? How did we? Uh, how did we enjoy it? No, nah, it was good. It was. It was an. Ex it was an experience. It was um, different. Yeah, it was a di it was different experience. A different experience. I got to wear the uh, the hat. I will say, Drake. Not, Not with the beanie underneath. Though. Not with the beanie underneath. But no, it was good. Uh, we had a bit of a laugh with it all. There was one bit the director David wanted, like, because uh, it's the high time solo, and he wanted a third hand to come in. Does it need to be a little hand or a right hand? I'll sack I'll take it. You might have to just lie down on the floor here. <laughs> so I got, to, I got to get between Rob's leg, um, and, um, which, yeah. which, was, which was quite interesting. And pretending to be like a third hand coming over the top, which was quite good fun. It really was good fun. It was cool. Very good day. <laughs> Famous for its sustain. I mean, you can just hold it. Well, I mean, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> The other thing we've done recently as well, uh, some of you will have will have already heard it, is we recorded a live EP uh, at Farmer Phil's Music Festival, which is a great little festival up in the Shropshire Hills. Always a favourite of ours. It, yeah, it really was a good good day. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm round of applause for Greg Cotton Haynes. <laughs> Go. 
Yeah, they had the facility to record everything multi-track, so we took um, we took the recordings back here and selected uh, five of the tracks, uh, mixed and mastered, and put them out on on an EP. <coughs> it's the live EP. The thing with the mi mixing and mastering, though, I, not being funny, but I feel a bit useless <laughs> at times, really. Um, Rob obviously needs knowledge of uh, that sort of things goes a lot further than me, so. I just get time to basically. Ooh, my name's Rob. I think you should sound like this. Well. About. Mess about, mm -hmm. pretty much, yeah, just, uh, yeah, do, do the important things. The most important part of any job. Should I be saying, like, no, 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 you do know, you do know, like, just, no. just loads of stuff about stuff. The other main thing we've been up to. <laughs> yeah, so they um, they had the facility to record uh, everybody's uh, gigs away. But... Um... Right, the camera. Shout to the camera. Don't shout to the camera. <laughs> the other thing we've been doing. Hi. Oh. Welcome to the first. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Is that it? That's it. That's that's that. I think that's that. Then there's another question.